Pokemon being super big, you think Disney would be going all out to get some of the Monster Tamer game fans? Well, you see, the thing is, is Disney doesn't care about making video games. Yeah. The fact that it's, uh, it's like, well, the fact that Disney Interactive has shuttered, it's like, who's going to make it? Disney doesn't make video games. They let other companies use their IPs when they want something made. Mm -hmm. And I mean, like, what other than, like, mobile cash grab games, what video games is Disney giving their IPs out for other than Kingdom Hearts, which has been a long time 2002 great sale, uh, seller? Mm -hmm. Like, the only reason Kingdom Hearts still gets Kingdom Hearts uh, or gets uh, Disney stuff and whatnot is because it's tried and true made money all the time, and Square Enix does all the work for Disney, to my knowledge. I don't think Disney does anything other than say, yes, you can do this, and no, you can't do that. Otherwise, it's just Square Enix does everything. I, there might be some amount of Disney footing some of the... Oh, no. There we go. That was weird. We haven't had a freeze yeah. like that this entire playthrough. But, uh... I don't know if Disney foots any of the production bill or if Square Enix just does it all and uses the IP, but... I feel like it would ha I, I feel like it's probably more Square Enix, but I, I imagine... I imagine it's gets... mostly, if not entirely, Square Enix. Also, yeah, uh, Disney, when they made Spectrobes, was trying to get the Pokemon market already. Because they yeah. released the first Spectrobes, like, right when Diamond and Pearl were a thing. What is wrong with the net play today? We should not be getting this much framiness. We haven't had this issue in any of the other streams. I'm gonna yeah. save here to be safe. Oh wait, we need to go right here. What am I doing? <laughs> I was thinking of the one further on, but this will get us that one faster. This is a fire one? We've already got Zen. Who, who could this be? We've already got Komodoros, we've already got Zen, Flame Rax is on Bob Mood, I think. Do we- is this Torgazor's Lance? Do we not have Torgazor yet? Maybe. Oh yeah, it is yeah, Torgalot. Yeah, it's Torgazor. This should be his Lance, I think. I think his Lance can stab like four times or something stupid, I don't remember. Hey, stab, stab. We like that. The Torga Lance. We got a new weapon. Netplay, can you calm down today, please? Do, 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 do. Away we go, Pegatinum. Does this game take you off of Pegatinum every single time you go through something? I don't know. No, it does not. I couldn't remember. Hooray! Go, go, go. Anyways, yeah, Marvel and Star Wars still belong to Disney and they're having games, but they had, like, constant game IP things happening beforehand. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that Disney just... Those those brands have uh, people outside of Disney that are allowing that to happen. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like, I was trying to think, like, is there any sort of Disney, like, what the most recent Disney game somebody said in chat it's like a Raymond Origins Origins game inspired by Mickey Mouse so it's like is that Epic Mickey they're talking about is that what that's called does it have another game coming that's out a different no this is I also think, fire I, so much fire and Doldogo which one is this I think what they mean is it's like uh is it like a Raymond Ra is it like the rabbits game or something because I know there was a Mario... No, because they said Rayman Origins. Rayman Origins is a 2D side-scrolling game. Oh, okay. I've played Rayman Origins. It's pretty good. Oh, okay. Mickey Island of Illusions or something. Haven't heard of it. Yeah. I don't... Who is this? I can't tell uh, from this far. What's the button I'm to... not sure. Who is this? I still don't know who this is. Uh... Oh, this is Zen. I thought we already got Zen. I mean, obviously we didn't. Hmm. It's it's called Totsu Glove because it's Totsu Zen is the monkey's final form, but the baby is called Zen, so I always call it Zen. Mm -hmm. I thought that we had already gotten that one. Maybe I thought we had gotten it. Oh, no, wait. I think I expected to get it earlier, but we got Komodoros at Slayso yeah. instead. That must be what I'm thinking of. Mm -hmm. That makes more sense. Yeah, Epic Mickey hasn't seen any new stuff in ages. I'm pretty sure they just made 
the Does first that and Mickey, the second. Is weird, like, ink thing, or am I thinking of something different? There is the- it is- it was sort of like they had Mickey with a paintbrush. I- I think I own both yeah, games. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I- but I just haven't played them. But I- I, I never played to. them either, I just knew it was a game that existed. It's too bad that you can't just fly with Pegatine and, like, just take off and just be like, woo! <laughs> There's no possible way they could have programmed that. Oh yeah, I know. It's the paintbrush game, that's what I thought it was. Go, Pegatinum, go, Pegatinum, go! I like the wind! Anyways, at the end of the day, Spectrobes has like a less than 2% chance, a less than 1% chance of ever being revived, which is unfortunate, but what are you gonna do? Mm -hmm. But, uh, the biggest hope it has, in my opinion, is Square Enix. Yeah. All it takes is Nomura digging around. Like, what's another Disney IP we can use that's kind of, like, unknown that we haven't used yet? Seeing Spectrobes somewhere in the Disney IP list and being like, oh, what's this about? And thinking, mm, I could do something with this. And then on top of that, after that would have to happen, it would have to be put into a Kingdom Hearts game that people didn't crap on unnecessarily, like Kingdom Hearts 3. People would have to be like, that was sick, that was really cool, are there games like this? Generate some demand for it. And then on top of that, Square Enix would have to be like, do we want to add a new IP to our uh, list of games that we're making all the time? Yeah, give it a shot. And then we'd have to hope that Square Enix made it good, because Square Enix makes a lot of good games. They've made some crap games, too. They could absolutely mess up Spectrobes. All right. We have one to grab in Kogo area. Mm-hmm. And then, do we want to go straight to Slayso, or do you want to... I think it's the Leo Zapper on Weeterra, which I don't really care to, like, go out of my way to get and use, but we could go try and get Leo over there if we wanted to. I mean, it's up to you. I'm fine either way. bum ba dum bum bum Surprise, Disney let Square Enix use characters from Song of the South in Kingdom Hearts? Did they? Where? When? Did they? I have no idea what you're talking about. This is the first I've heard of it. I can't think of where they would use it. I played all the games. I don't remember anything about Song of the South coming up. Was there anything with, like, Brer, Brer Rabbit or something? Did any of that happen? Not that I can remember. Maybe one of the, like, 8-bit little, like, Game & Watch mini-games in Kingdom Hearts 3 that most players ignored, myself included, until I needed to do it for the Platinum Trophy. So many little details and origins, like the menu animations just now, a lot of love was put into this game. It's a good game. It's way better than its two predecessors. It's unfortunate they didn't sell enough to keep on Disney's radar. This should be Shakur, if I remember right. Because I really remember having his axe by now. Yeah, absolutely. I think this is one of my favorite yep. legendary weapons. Does it look like what I remember? Yeah, I like this a lot. Yeah, that's a pretty cool. That's a pretty sick design. Honestly, the axes probably have the best designs. I think their only competition is the swords. Hit that. Up. I'd probably go like axes, lances, or axes, swords, lances. Mm-hmm. Mostly just because the, uh... I mean, the Shakur lance is what really carries it, to be honest. It's one of the best-looking ones. That and the Don Giga axe. Those two axes mm -hmm. carry it hard. Commodorus is yeah. pretty good. Spica axe is pretty good. They never give you a Sky Axe, which is lame. They give yeah. you the stupid, uh... The legendary Grass Spectro gives you another Grass Axe that just looks worse than the Spike Axe, so who cares? Isn't that Bombzar? Yeah, Bombzar, that's what it's called. Why, why would they make that an Axe and not a Blaster? Uh -huh. They didn't really think about balancing much when making the legendary weapons. Mm. 
given that, you know, there are only there's only a grass and a fire shield. Yeah. Uh yeah, let's go to Weeterra, why not? Yeah, why not? Then we at least can get you a zapper that if you if you feel like if you're in the mood for that, then you can use it. Nah, if I want to use fire, I'm gonna use the Torga Lance. Fair. There are also guns in this game suck. Yeah. I don't know if they're actually like good at winning fights or not, but they're the most boring way of combat. The zappers mm -hmm. are like fine. But even even the zappers, I'm like, eh, just, you know. I'd rather get up close and personal and swing my sword a lot. Mm hmm Ow. Ow again. Fork over one of these new lances. Now, either I've inceptioned myself into believing that there's a lance that can do this, but yeah, I was about to say, there are lances that can hit more than on one swing, and this is one of them. I thought it hit more than two. Maybe the Zenny Lance hits like three times in a row? Or maybe I made that up, but lances are like fine, but boy howdy, the double hit lances are where it's at. Like, look at, that's amazing. Get wrecked. Come here, punk. Ba -da -ba -da -ba. Three levels away from evolution. My... Hey. Why are my mentions blowing up? Is it a, uh... Sorry, I just wanted to double check and make sure that that wasn't something I needed to respond to and it is not. Yeah, blasters just aren't as fun gameplay-wise, to be honest. The game is more fun when you're up in the action trying to land hits with axes, lances, and swords. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so it's and like I, playing I think, as Commodores. I think, I think or, uh, From what I remember, I think gloves are fine. I can't remember the last time I used a glove in this game. I think gloves are, like, fine, but they're just inferior to swords and axes. Because, like, lances, especially when you get ones that hit faster, like the Torga one, are a good go-between between, between swords and axes for damage and speed. Mm -hmm. Swords are the fastest for quick combos and a little bit of juggling with your Spectro. Axes are the best for heavy damage and breaking through crawl that have guard. And then gloves are just kind of like, yeah, we're here. Blasters are lame, but they at least have like, hey, we've got range. That's our thing. Wait, I'm going this way. Arceus, thank you for subbing at Tier 1. Greatly appreciated. Enjoy your emotes and whatnot. Thank you for the support. Oh, there's Crawl here. Ow! All of my feelings. Like, look at, look at that damage. Hey, easy level up. Ow. Beautiful. More? Oh, yeah, more. Oh, these things are already, like, up in the 40s. Look at them. Aren't they special? Those other ones we just fought were, like, level 28. Still very upset we can't use ultimate attacks. Yeah. Be so nice for situations like this. Yo, 69, though? Nice, nice. Oh, crud. Oh, there did we go. We, did we need a fire spectrobe to open up this thing over here that I'm thinking of? Uh, I don't I know. I want to say that Leo Zapper is here, and it's one of the very few that you don't actually need to open a gate for, but I could be wrong. Like, there looks like there's a cave over there. No, it's just a shadow. Hooray! It's just a shadow. Is Leo's here and free to open? I think it is. I feel like it's like right over in this corner. I think I can hear it. Look at all that. 
Am I hearing it or am I making stuff up? Do you hear it? I heard it. I heard it a bit ago. Maybe we're on the wrong side of the thing. I know I heard it. Turning up the game volume a little bit on my headset. Is it in here? There's something yellow there for a second. Find it. Yeah, I know. I'm looking for it. It's around this corner. There's that. Mystery pod. That's probably Leo. Or it's a mineral. Am I insane? I heard it too earlier. Uh, maybe... Is it like way further over here? Or is it actually in these ruins over here? Maybe that's where I'm mixed up. Because I thought it was just in one of these little ruins or in like the back corner. Shep. Is it somewhere over there? There's another ruin thing over here. That's where I'm going. Oh, okay. Back here. One of those has got to be Leo. These random invisible walls are going to make me scream. This is making a legendary spectrobe noise, I'm, noise, I'm pretty sure. Is it over here in this corner? Oh, it's an Earth. It's not Leo up here. Do we have Earth on us? We do. Yeah, we have Ruby. That's Open lucky. It up, Ruby. I thought it was Leo. Leo must actually be on bomb mode then. Who is this? Is this is this trash compactor? Maybe. We've got Don Giga. We don't have uh, the the Earth Beetle tank thing. What's that called? Scarazook? That secret yeah, spectro. There are a couple options this could be. Oh, it's Garbage Boy. I thought that the Leo Zapper was up here. I was mistaken. Maybe it's because you know that Leo is up here. Oh, you so... know what? This is another Zapper is why I got confused. Mm. There's a Zapper up here, but I thought it was the Leo Zapper, but it's not. It's the Earth Zapper. My bad. Good work, Ruby. Can't I already open this because I have a fully evolved form of every Spectrum? No, I don't. I don't have fire on me because we still have the adult fire one, don't we? Yeah. What Why? is that? Trash compactor. He looks like a little trash can in his base form. He does. I'm pretty sure his fully evolved form also still kind of looks like a giant trash compactor. <laughs> if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, he'll take out the trash and the crawl too. The crawl are trash. <laughs> well. Get wrecked. Some some people would probably argue Maja if, if they grew up on that game. There were definitely some some guys who grew up with the classic Maja video game crush, guaranteed. Huh? I would bet it. What would you just hit me with Maja? a haw for? <laughs> What's Maja? What are you talking about? Maja is the female high crawl from Beyond the Portals. Oh, that one. I don't. I didn't remember her name. She is very sassy and a fan favorite of the Spectrobes franchise. Mm -hmm. She was a pretty good antagonist for, you know, the game she was in, from what I remember. Mm -hmm. Wouldn't you know it's more of these guys? Oh, look, more crawl. <laughs> Who and could have expected? Over. Yo, 410 experience, gamer moment. Should be getting pretty close to level 29 already. Because I don't think you just leveled up from that fight a second ago, or maybe you did, I don't remember. I might have. I don't recall. I didn't get the level up there, but that's fine. Getting closer. Yep. Steadily making our way up there. Making my way downtown. Walking fast. Speed of sound. Rolling around at the speed of sound. I'd have been DMCA'd. You're not invited to any more playthroughs. <laughs> You're off the Toontown team. Aw. You are no longer truly built different. Aw. My female demographic is in shambles right now. Yep. Gonna have to rely on Lauren showing up once every, like, three months. 
to get a crumb of female representation. <laughs> Alright, let's finally go to Slay Cell. Hey! I might be remembering wrong, and it might be different if I forget some of the puzzles and it takes a minute, but I feel like Slay Cell might be the fastest planet in the game. I admittedly never got to this because I stopped after getting Pegatina. So it'll be an experience for both of us.